In this studio mock-up, we're gonna be installing a Pella flanged window and a wall with a fully adhered membrane. The first step in the assembly is to go ahead and cut open our window. That will be by cutting the sill flush and the head flush on the sides will come in roughly the thickness of the wall so that we're able to turn that in. Now again, we're going to make an estimation for what that wall thickness is and we'll cut vertically. Same on this side, roughly the width of the wall. Now we're able to turn that flap inward and press it to our jam. The next step in our waterproofing, we're going to create a positive slope sill in the unit. We're going to do so with cedar bevel siding. We could also do this by rough framing the sill with a five degree pitch, but in this case we're just going to be attaching one piece of siding, that'll give us positive drainage to the outside, and then we'll continue with our tapes. Each manufacturer's spec might be different here. This manufacturer recommends that we're going to turn our tape six inches up the jam, go all the way across, and six inches up the other jam. This tape is only about three and a half inches wide, so we'll do it in two runs. We'll start on the outside. After I pre-cut this tape to length, I actually re-rolled it so that I'd be able to roll it out easily. It's a pressure sensitive adhesive, so I like to set the top edge before I go to make any cuts or turns. On this particular product, we're going to cut vertically at the corner, and this piece is going to actually turn down in this direction. And I have a little extra here, so I'll just trim that back. We'll cut the same thing here. From that corner, we'll go vertically and then we'll turn this tape down. Now that we've gently pressed it in place by hand, we'll use a roller to fully adhere this product. This is a pressure sensitive adhesive, so it's not gonna stay long term unless you apply pressure with the roller. After we've rolled the entire unit, we'll go ahead and add a bow tie to cover these little pinholes on both sides. Let me show you how we cut them. I have a block to protect my sill and the tape that we just put down. I've cut a four inch piece of their product. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to make two cuts to create our bow tie shape. I like to start by pressing the bow tie into the opening and then I'm able to turn the corner here. That'll give us the ability to shed water. I've covered that opening. We'll do the same thing again on the other side. I'm going to roll both those bow ties and then we're ready to do one more run of tape further into the opening just to push past where the window will be. By adding this second piece of tape, any water that finds its way in will shingle over and then over and we're to the outside.
This manufacturer recommends a bead of sealant along the top edge here to just seal that edge off from any water that might find its way down the jam. We'll do that now with a sausage gun. A quick tip with the sausage tubes, a lot of people are worried about making this cut, cutting all the way around with their knife. It's unnecessary. If you take your knife and just poke it in two or three places, that'll be enough so that you'll be able to get it to start coming out. Now we're taking a piece of that cedar bevel siding that we've cut as a shim, placing it in the reverse orientation. That'll give us a level point for our jam to sit on both ends of the window.